In a world cluttered with the noise of transient affairs, Ireland emerges as a sanctuary of authentic resonance, a land where myth and reality blur into a continuum of wonder. Here, every hill is a monument to epochs gone by, and every wave that lashes against the rugged coastline sings an eternal ballad. The air is different here, laden with narratives, drenched in history, and tinged with the hues of legend. This is a land where poets find their muse in the rustling leaves, where warriors draw courage from the sprawling meadows, and where every stone and river has a tale to tell. In Ireland, you don't merely traverse land, you traverse layers of time, culture, and meaning. One doesn't merely visit Ireland, one experiences it, deeply and irreversibly. Welcome to Ireland, the canvas where nature paints its masterpieces, and history scribes its chronicles. Welcome to the realm of ceaseless wonder. Amidst the iridescent tapestry of Ireland, Cork glows as an unmissable gem, a city and county that exemplifies resilience and cultural richness, nestled at the southwestern extremity of the Emerald Isle. Known colloquially as the Rebel County, its history is a fervent dance of struggle and triumph, each step a milestone in Ireland's narrative. Wander through the meandering lanes of this historic region, and you'll find echoes of an ancient world. Cork City, its urban heart, is a juxtaposition of the old and new. The stately spire of St. Finn Bar's Cathedral pierces the sky, a Gothic manifestation of bygone elegance, while the modern installations at the Crawford Art Gallery pay homage to the evolving face of Irish artistry. When the hunger for exploration strikes, head west to find yourself amidst the coastal cliffs of Mizzen Head, the most southwesterly point of Ireland. A secret tip for those who want to embrace the coastal beauty of Cork, time your visit between June and September, when the sun casts its warmest glow on this southwestern haven. The Atlantic Ocean churns below, whispering secrets that only the heart of Cork can truly comprehend. And then there's the culinary alchemy, this region is often hailed as the food capital of Ireland. From the catch of the day in the quaint fishing village of Kinsale to artisanal treasures discovered in the English market, Cork satiates not just the eye but also the palate. Cork isn't just a location, it's a state of mind, a slice of Irish history encapsulated in rolling hills and rhythmic tides. It captures the very essence of Ireland, a land that refuses to be forgotten. In the verdant expanse of Ireland's west, the city of Limerick unfurls like a timeless epic, a confluence of history, culture, and a touch of the mythical. Stately in its demeanor, yet animated with the vivacity of the river Shannon that courses through its veins, Limerick is a tale that never ceases to be told. From the moment the beholder steps into the precincts of the city, the sense of antiquity is palpable. You are walking through the stomping grounds of the Vikings, and each cobblestone whispers a thousand secrets. The King John's Castle, imposing on the banks of the Shannon, serves as an architectural biography, encapsulating almost a millennium of events that have shaped the city and the nation. Yet, Limerick is more than a museum under the open sky. It pulsates with contemporary life. The Limerick City Gallery of Art is a dazzling arena of modern creativity, highlighting the vibrant shades of Ireland's artistic future. Falmouth Park echoes with the roars of fervent rugby fans, testifying to the nation's modern athletic prowess. Along its banks, traditional pubs abound. As night falls, these turn into the heartbeats of the city, echoing live music and the cheerful clatter of pint glasses. If you wish to capture this lively spirit, it would be prudent to visit during the Limerick Jazz Festival in September, when the city is enveloped in musical grandeur. Limerick, like a finely crafted poem, captures the essence of Irish identity, intense yet inviting, historic yet ever-renewing. It is not just a city, it's a symphony where every note resonates with Ireland's multifaceted soul. Perched at the edge of Europe, overlooking the tempestuous Atlantic, the cliffs of Maher stand as a sentinel, a boundary between the old world and the mysteries of the open sea. With a demeanor as steely as the grey skies they so often mirror, these towering cliffs are the embodiment of Ireland's dramatic allure. From their highest point, O'Brien's Tower, a vision unfolds that seems conjured from the pages of a saga. 
Winds whip against the sheer rock face, carrying with them the whispers of ancient Gaelic legends. It's said that the cliffs serve as a vantage point for the mythical hero Ku Chulain, who watches over the land from this throne of stone. Yet, there's a contrasting warmth that permeates the surrounding area. Visitors often embark on a scenic walk along the Burn Way, a stretch of land where flora and fauna prosper, despite the foreboding presence of the cliffs nearby. Make sure to bring your hiking boots and a raincoat, for Irish weather is as mercurial as its history. If an extended stay calls to you, the nearest village of Doolin is barely 15 minutes away by car. The cliffs of Maher stand as a reminder that nature, in her grandest forms, speaks to something universal, a shared human capacity for wonder that transcends the limitations of language and culture. To stand before them is to converse with the eternal, to brush against the sublime. It is a rite of passage, an experience that forever marks one's spirit. In the heart of the Emerald Isle, a city unfurls its labyrinthine streets and opens its arms wide, Dublin, where history and modernity waltz in an eternal dance. Neither a sprawling metropolis nor a humble town, Dublin exists in a category all its own, much like the fabled leprechauns of its folklore. It's the palimpsest of a nation, each layer of its storied past visible in the chipped paint of Georgian townhouses and the shimmering glass of its tech hubs. Dublin isn't just a location, it's an anthology of human experience. Residents often speak of the crack, an untranslatable term that encompasses fun, fellowship, and nuanced conversation. To truly understand it, one must venture to the intimate jazz clubs of Wexford Street or the markets of Moore Street, a culinary haven where you can sample everything from fresh oysters to artisanal cheese. The story of Dublin isn't one that can be fully captured or understood, it has to be lived. For a temporary haven, consider booking a stay in one of the city's boutique hotels or quaint bed and breakfasts. And for the love of James Joyce, don't leave without sampling an Irish coffee in its native land. Dublin. A metropolis with the heart of a village, it embodies Ireland's indomitable spirit, its incandescent wit, and its eternal sense of community. To walk its streets is to stroll through a living museum, a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of triumph, sorrow, and an ever hopeful future. It's more than a city, it's a chronicle, forever open, forever inviting you to pen your own chapter. In the heartland of County Wicklow, a hallowed sanctuary whispers the secrets of Ireland's ancient spirituality, Glendala. Encircled by mist-kissed mountains, this monastic city offers a portal into a world veiled in an aura of timelessness. Founded by St. Kevin in the 6th century, Glendala, or the Valley of Two Lakes, still bears the stone vestiges of a community that sought divine communion in nature's embrace. Within its serenity lies an undeniable dynamism, the echo of monks' prayers is replaced by the laughter and chatter of hikers and pilgrims. The dual lakes for which the valley is named offer their own brand of tranquility. The upper lake is a haven of solitude, where the ever-changing Irish skies are mirrored on its glassy surface. The lower lake teems with waterfowl, the avian custodians of this sacred land. A labyrinth of walking trails unfurls across the valley, each route a pilgrimage of sorts, sanctified by the verdant beauty of the Emerald Isle. Perhaps the most rewarding is the Spink and Glenielo Valley route, an elevated path that offers sweeping vistas of the entire valley below. Nature lovers will revel in the rich biodiversity of the area, from the melodious calls of indigenous bird species to the vibrant flora that decorates the valley. Here in Glendala, history is not consigned to the annals of books or the whispers of aging scholars. It exists in every dew-laden leaf, in each reflection on the placid lakes, and in the ever-standing stone edifices that have defied the corrosive touch of time. It is the eternal testament of Ireland's celestial and terrestrial beauty, a timeless serenade, performed by nature and heritage in perfect harmony. In the southwestern reaches of Ireland, in County Kerry, the enchanting town of Killarney comes to life. Often considered the jewel of the Emerald Isle, Killarney is a place of mesmerizing beauty, where azure lakes converge with jade-hued forests and mystical mountains silhouette the skyline. 
It's as if a painter, overcome by the allure of nature, meticulously crafted each scene. The nearby Ross Castle, dating back to the 15th century, adds a sense of gravity and majesty to the landscape. Its stone walls, thick and enduring, stand as a testament to Ireland's tumultuous history, as well as its will to persevere. To approach the castle by boat across Loch Lean is to court the muse of inspiration that has fueled Irish song and story for millennia. For travelers desiring to fully immerse themselves in the essence of Killarney, various boutique hotels and bed and breakfasts offer hospitality as warm as the traditional Irish welcome. These accommodations seamlessly blend modern comfort with elements of the landscape, making it more than just a stay but an experience in itself. In Killarney, one doesn't merely visit, one becomes an intricate thread woven into a vivid Celtic tapestry that is as ageless as it is resplendent. A tale as ancient as the hills yet perpetually reborn with each sunrise over its illustrious lakes. It's Ireland, in all its haunting beauty, captured in a single, timeless locale. Perched on Ireland's southeastern coast in County Waterford, Tremor effortlessly embodies the rugged allure of the Irish seafront. Known for its expansive sandy beaches, it's a town where the symphony of crashing waves provides a constant backdrop, a reminder of nature's grandeur and omnipotence. Originally a sleepy fishing village, Tremor emerged from its chrysalis to become a beloved seaside resort. The Victorians, charmed by its unadulterated beauty, left an indelible imprint, their elegant architecture lingers in the town, emanating a nostalgia that's at once captivating and bittersweet. The beach itself is a sprawling canvas of golden sands, cradled by a semicircle of dunes that serve as nature's bulwark against the Atlantic's moody temperament. On these shores, surfers carve their dreams into the water, riding the waves as if guided by Neptune himself. Families build sandcastles, each grain a pixel in a larger picture of idyllic vacations. The inns and goost houses of Tremor, with their cozy atmospheres and sea views, offer a sanctuary of comfort and luxury. Traditional Irish warmth interlaces with modern amenities to create an environment where relaxation meets sheer elegance. In Tremor, beauty is not merely observed but lived. Its narrative is interwoven with the very fibers of its sand, its people, and its culture. Here, one does not need to search for poetry, it exists in every pebble, in every tide, in every whisper of the wind, a lyrical ballad sung by the very soul of Ireland. Antrim, in Northern Ireland, is a land cradled between myths and reality, where each rolling hill seems touched by ancient stories and each craggy coastline whispers tales of yore. Located near the banks of Loch Nee, the UK's largest freshwater lake, the town of Antrim is a gateway to a landscape punctuated by historical resonance and natural splendor. The glens of Antrim unfurl like the pages of an old manuscript, each valley an epic stanza in the land's age-old ballad. Weather-beaten trees stand like ancient sentinels over undulating terrain that has witnessed both conflict and concord, while local legend and lore flutter around like leaves on an ever-changing wind. As one ventures further north, the iconic giant's causeway awaits, a geological marvel, or, as local folklore would have it, the remnants of a pathway built by giants. Basalt columns, like stepping stones for mythical beings, extend into the sea, their irregular yet almost mathematical precision fascinating geologists and mystics alike. Accommodations range from quaint bed and breakfasts that ooze local charm to luxury hotels that offer an unadulterated indulgence in comfort. The essence of Antrim is not just to be observed or catalogued but to be deeply felt. It is an intricate tapestry woven from threads of history, folklore, and incredible natural beauty, a testament to the resilience and spirit of its people. This isn't merely a place, it's an odyssey wrapped in shades of green, grey, and blue, forever etched into the hearts of those fortunate enough to experience it. Kinsale, a name that resonates with those who have a predilection for sea air intermingled with history, is a postcard-perfect harbour town in County Cork, Southern Ireland. This town is less an assembly of streets and more a vibrant tapestry of colour, the buildings themselves dressed in hues of pink, yellow, and blue as if mimicking the abundant wildflowers that bloom along its coastal pathways. 
sailing vessels dot the harbor, each one a modern echo of a rich maritime history that one saw can sail as the nexus of trade, exploration, and military endeavor. One cannot explore this town without bumping into echoes of the past, such as the legendary Battle of Kinsale, which proved pivotal in Ireland's complex relationship with its neighboring isle. Fort Charles, standing like a stoic sentinel, looks out to sea, its stone walls whispering tales of bravery and betrayal. Accommodations encapsulate the enchanting blend of old and new. Imagine boutique hotels with views that extend across the harbor, their modern luxuries harmonizing with traditional aesthetics. Whether it's the chance to play a round of golf with panoramic sea views as your backdrop or to engage in a sailing adventure that makes one realize the insignificance of man against the majesty of the ocean, Kinsale offers a medley of experiences that strike a chord with the eternal and the ephemeral alike. Kinsale is more than a destination, it's a sojourn for the soul, a feast for the senses, and a tribute to the indomitable spirit of Ireland. Kilkenny, a moniker that resounds with an almost poetic timbre, is an Irish city unlike any other. Its soul is a tapestry interwoven with both medieval antiquity and vibrant modernity. In the heart of Ireland's ancient East, Kilkenny is a microcosm of everything that makes this nation so hauntingly beautiful. The cityscape is dominated by Kilkenny Castle, an imposing structure whose crenellated towers and verdant grounds form an evocative link to the Norman conquest of Ireland. This castle, more a fortress of culture and history than mere stone and mortar, is where one can journey through epochs. Each room is a portal to a different era, the intricate tapestries and period furniture serving as silent narrators of centuries-long stories. Yet, it's not just the castle that captivates. Walk through the medieval lanes of Kilkenny and one encounters an urban setting where the 13th century St. Canice's Cathedral coexists seamlessly with contemporary art galleries and cafes. Indeed, the city's artistic flair can be best experienced at the Kilkenny Arts Festival, an annual celebration that transforms the streets into a canvas of musical and visual expression. An essential part of Kilkenny's appeal is its intimate relationship with the River Knorr. The river is not merely a geographical feature, it's a lifeline that has shaped the destiny of this city. The waters have nourished both the soil and the soul, giving life to lush parks and gardens, as well as inspiring poets and artists who have tried to capture its elusive beauty in words and on canvas. Kilkenny, in essence, is not just a geographical location to pinpoint on a map, it's a sensorial realm to inhabit, a chapter in Ireland's ever-evolving narrative that invites its guests to become characters in its enduring tale. Whether by the hearth of a historic inn or under the spires of its timeless architectural wonders, you are never merely in Kilkenny, for a while, you become part of Kilkenny. In the heart of the Emerald Isle, where myths blend with reality and histories are written in the language of the landscapes, Ireland stands not as a mere geographical entity but as an embodiment of tales whispered by the wind and echoed through its verdant hills. As we journeyed from the urban artistry of Dublin to the medieval cadences of Kilkenny, from the rugged beauty of the cliffs of Maher to the bucolic charm of Cork, it became clear that Ireland is a canvas painted in the colors of resilience, warmth, and endless mystique. The true essence of this nation is found not just in the postcard-perfect views, or in the celebrated tales of yore, but in the momentary interactions, the shared laughter in a local pub, the solitude found on a cliff's edge, and the feeling of the ancient earth beneath one's feet. Each locale is a different verse in a continuous poetic narrative, yet they all contribute to a collective Irish soul that defies simple description. Timeless yet continually evolving, Ireland invites exploration but never fully reveals itself, ever retaining an enigmatic allure that beckons for a return journey. It is a silent hymn, a secret kept safely in the hearts of all who wander its sacred lands. Ireland is not just a place, it's an everlasting memory inked in the chronicles of those who dare to embrace it. <laughs>